What is it like to have two world champions living in the same household? <laughs> Linda Murray and Whitney Jones, and we are here with Mr. and Ms. Olympia. That's right. Mark Anthony, he's won six pro titles, and we have our current Ms. Olympia, Jennifer Dory. Welcome, guys. Thank, Thank you for you. having Thank us on. Yeah, amazing, amazing. A, a lot of championships under one roof. <laughs> Do you guys battle all the time about all the time. it? Who's more important? <laughs> Who's better? <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> She's definitely more important. Than She's definitely better, for sure. <laughs> right. Great answer, by the way. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's all trained. <laughs> yes, you, you've trained him well, Jim. <laughs> and so now married. You guys are married. Yes. And I understand that you were married on 2 22 yes. 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 There's got to be a story behind it. Right. Yeah, it, it, was, it, it was a special day for us for a few reasons. Well, one was Linda's birthday. Oh my goodness! Yeah, no way. Yeah. it's my birthday yeah. too. Twenty two. Oh, 22. what a great day we had! Yeah. Yes, but I hear that there's a very interesting story behind the two. So, there is. So, two 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 is just a number that we often see. If if you see triple numbers, it's angel numbers, is what it's considered. Every time I look at the clock, it's two two two, three three three, four four four, that type mm -hmm. of thing. Um, and actually, when we when we had first met back in 2018 in Tampa, um, he was there with his friend Nicholas, who was competing, and I was there competing. That's when we first met, actually. Um, my competitor number was 222 that mm -hmm. weekend, and it just so happened that like his UPS. Sorry, I'm giving out your information. Yeah, <laughs> but like wow. his UPS box number and stuff was 222. Like his lucky number was 222. Um, so it was just kind of like fate that my number was 222 and it's just a number that we always, we pretty much always see it. We always try and pick that number if we can. I remember saying to her when I saw mm -hmm. the button with, you know, when we just met, right? Mm -hmm. She thought I was trying to finesse her. I'm like, that's my favorite number. She's like, <laughs> yeah, like, right, sure. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So you walked up and you said that to her. You yeah. Told well, her. I mean, it was, we, we, we had started chatting and then when I saw the number, I'm like, you're kidding me. You know, and I, I said it to her and she's like, sure, buddy, you know? And then as we got to know each other, then she's like, you were, you weren't kidding. It's you know? just a recurring number that we always see. And we were mm -hmm. like, you know, that's a once in a lifetime date. Mm -hmm. We got to do it. Mm -hmm. It really is. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Now, did you guys, were you telling people that that was the day you were going to get married? It was kind of last minute for us, actually, because, of course, we're going to do a big wedding with family mm -hmm. and friends um, mm -hmm. probably next year because that's going to take a ton of planning. We couldn't just throw it together last right. minute. Um, I had got a wedding dress, he had a tux, yeah. and we literally just did it on a whim. It, it was probably like a week or two in advance that we planned it. Well, we lived downtown Las Vegas mm -hmm. in, a, in, a, in a high rise condo, and we had a, a floor to ceiling window. We used to. Yeah, we used to. Yeah. And downtown Vegas is known for wedding chapels. <laughs> yes. And Bill's Bonds offices, <laughs> okay? Because the courthouse is okay. right there. Uh, outside of our condo, we, there was a chapel there that we literally saw weddings happening all day long. All time, yeah. So it was nostalgic. Mm. So I said, let's get married downtown. You know? mm, yeah. And it was just fun. her and I, yeah. you know, no one else, you know, no family, no friends. It's just us. It's just us and you know, something that we don't get to have often. It's yeah. us together. Mm -hmm. and, privacy. Uh, yeah, privacy. Yeah. Yeah. So it was nice just to have that moment between us and then mm. sure. we'll do the big party with everyone else as well. Yeah. Yeah. Get to share it with yeah, everyone. That was the first too. thought I, when I looked on Instagram and I saw that you guys are married. <laughs> I'm like, wow. So the first thing I thought, well, they live in Las Vegas. Yeah. And yeah. The first thing you think of <laughs> is, you know, people get married yeah. quickly. So yes. you actually have you bought a dress yep. and you had the tux yep. and you just decided, okay, let's just do it now. Yeah. Let's not make it complicated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we were like, this way when we have the actual, like the bigger wedding party, we can enjoy it because yeah. there's no stress. We're already married. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's just a party for us. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. just fun for us. And, okay. And this way we got to, to get out all the nerves and the jitters the first yeah. time by ourselves. So. You know, and believe it or not, even though it's just us two, I was <laughs> we, nervous. We were still nervous. <laughs> oh, oh, really? That's sweet. Yeah. 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 Well, it's a big deal. Yeah, I mean, I you can't just make a decision like that lightly. So yeah. it's good. Yeah. Obviously, it shows that it has some meaning yeah. behind sure. it. 
Yep. I just remember seeing it on social media and went, wait, what? How did I miss this? How did I not know? But yeah. it was, so excited for you guys. It was funny because I was like, should we post it or not? Just because I didn't have our wedding photos back yet. We did get them mm-hmm. back now, but we was the day of. And I was like, you know what? Like, let's just post it. But we took a picture after we changed into like comfy clothes. Mm-hmm. I think we were wearing like sweatpants or yeah, something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and we went to go for lunch after. And then in my caption said, no, we didn't wear sweatpants. Because yeah. I'm sure people <laughs> were thinking like, did they get married <laughs> with like, sweatpants and a veil? <laughs> So how did you guys like <clears throat> first meet? Like, because mm-hmm. I know you won the Olympia in 2013, yeah. mm-hmm. and um, so how did you? Where did you first lay eyes? I on wasn't her? even started competing back then. Yeah, right. so, yeah. so, so. <laughs> she's a baby. I was a baby. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> I um, so my friend Nicholas Vuillard was coming to spend two months with me from Switzerland to train to compete in the 212 at Tampa Pro in 2018, which he ended up winning and qualified for the Olympia. So. I was looking online on social media at, you know, who's going to be competing at the show, and you know they'll they'll post like certain competitors that are going to compete. So then I, I looked at the Canadian pages because I'm Canadian. We both grew up in Canada. Yes. So I had, let me intercept for a second. Sure. I had just started competing. 2018 was my pro debut year, so okay. I had done. I had just done Toronto Pro. I placed third, um, and then I did Vancouver, and I placed second. It was me and Ashley. But we had very similar looks at the time. I had a green suit, straight mm-hmm. hair. So everyone was like, this is Ashley's like, little sister, little mm-hmm. twin sister. Um, and then I, I went to do Tampa yeah, so from there. So I guess you must have seen. I saw on the Canadian page, I was like, who's this girl? I'm like, gee, she's hot. Who's that? Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see kind the Canadian. It's not to right? recognize that. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm like, who's these Canadians coming up? And I saw her. So I'm in the lobby waiting for an Uber to go to Whole Foods to get food in Tampa. She pulls up in an Uber. I'm like, wait a minute, that's that girl. Yeah. So I'm, like, wow. look, I'm like looking on social Aww. media, I'm like, that's the same girl, you know? So I ended up leaving, she went in, I saw her take her suitcase in. I should have came and helped you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think I was, I was just checking in. Um, I went there by myself. I was actually rooming with Laura Lee and yeah. one of her friends that year. We were rooming together. Mm-hmm. She took first, I took second at the show. Um, and I think I was going to the registration or something, and he was like walking down the hall, and I was walking down the hall, and we like crossed paths, and I was yeah. like, hmm, "That guy's pretty good looking." Uh-huh. I, was, I was like, "I was like, I think that's that Mark Anthony guy," but uh-huh. I wasn't really sure because in Canada we're so like out of the loop with who's who kind of thing, sure. and I was mm-hmm. just really getting into the pro circuit, so I didn't really know everything. Um, and I was like, "Oh, you know, he's good looking." And then mm-hmm. I was back to my room. I was on Instagram, and I was scrolling, and I saw Ron Harris posted a picture with him. And I was like, oh, that's that guy. Let me just follow him. And then next thing you know, ding, my, my DM went off. <laughs> wow. I thought she had followed me. Right? Oh, he's yeah. like, here's okay. my opportunity. Yeah. You saw that she had followed she had just you shortly me. after, shortly after. Yeah. you we guys walked yeah. yeah. past. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I was like, okay. So I didn't know that he had seen me in the Uber prior to that. Yeah. Okay. And then um, she, had, she, she just followed me, and then I was like, okay, <laughs> let me send a little hello message, you know, greetings. Um, <laughs> Greetings, fellow Canadians. Yeah. So that was it. We just <laughs> well, then no, then he he was going to Cheesecake Factory because the the men competed before the Friday. women did um, yeah. on the Friday. Yeah. So he was like, "Do you want me to bring you cheesecake?" And I was like, "Sure." Uh-huh. <laughs> and then he brought me smart a, move. He brought me a, a piece of cheesecake. It was it was actually a funny story though. I was rinsing off my tan between pre judge and finals, uh-huh. and he had he was like, "Oh, I'm going to come to your room, and then I have to catch my flight. I'll drop off the cheesecake." I was like, "Okay, that's fine." Um, and I was in the shower still, and he knocks on the door, and Laura Lee's friend opens the door like, oh, thanks, she thought it was DoorDash. Uh-huh. And she was like, the cheesecake dude wow. came, but the, the cheesecake cheese- is here. Uh-huh. So it was funny, the running joke that weekend was he was the cheesecake the dude. Uh-huh. Um, just and delivery. thought it was like Uber Eats, and I, I texted him, I was like, oh no, like come back, I'm just getting dressed, like come back to the room. So I dropped it off, I was like, okay, whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm walking to the, to the elevator, she texted me, she said, come back. I was like... And I'll come back. And, and then, then the door knocks again. Then he came back. And I think he stayed in the room for a few hours just, just chatting, chatting yeah. kind of. And then backstage, you came back backstage with me when we were yeah. getting ready. You had to take a flight. Yeah. And then. And that was the start of it that's all. That's it. That From that day, I, I, he I was actually, on FaceTime with her every day. He said to me there, he was like, just so you know, we're going to have to FaceTime every single day. And I was mm-hmm. like, 
okay, sure. Like, I, I never even FaceTimed anybody. Really? Uh-huh. So I was like, he's just saying this, you know? And then mm-hmm. we've FaceTimed every single day. Every single day. <laughs> no yeah. way. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And where were you both living at that time? I was, I was in Vegas still. I was okay. in, Canada. She's in Canada. Okay. Yeah. But we had the Olympia that was six weeks after. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so my sister and I came out for Olympia. My twin sister came with me. And then we ended up staying an extra week and we stayed with him for the week. So we mm-hmm. just got to explore oh, Vegas. How fun. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And then I, I think I flew home for one day. And then I flew home, I flew back the next day yeah. because we went to the Legions and I was shooting with JM. Uh-huh. Yeah. With me and Ashley were doing a, a shoot together actually. Mm. So I ended up coming right back. and It was last minute because JM said, do you want to shoot next week? Yeah. So she flew back and she said, yeah, no problem, I'll fly back because, you know, we, we yeah. connected, you know. So we, so. Yeah, we road trip to um, California. California, yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, how fun. So it was pretty <laughs> fast and furious for you guys. It was fast and furious. Yeah. And then we got a dog maybe like two months later. You yeah. got me and my dog. I had to lock it in. Wow. <laughs> you had to lock it in. You see the you system? Did. Cheesecake. Yes, but food you to the didn't heart. propose yes. right away. No. No, not right away. No. And I said, <laughs> she, she came and was spending two months with me. She, and I said, let me get her a puppy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was really that was, yeah. that, that was the ring before the ring, uh-huh. <laughs> right? You know? Well, yeah, you gotta yeah. you gotta have some yeah. friction there yeah. to see how how you guys handle right. it. And you guys exactly. Can we, these yeah. issues. And we wow. we worked through it fine. And um, you were what, almost four years later. Now? Four years later now, yeah. Yeah, yeah almost that's four what's years really now. great. I mean, yeah. it's not like it was you know like a lot of times with all our bodies and the physiques and oh, yeah. all the energy that goes yeah. on, people get together and mm-hmm. it's like. They're together for like a yeah, short while, but right. you guys have a great history, and it's obvious that yeah. you really connected. Yeah, we did. Like yeah. it was just meant to be. Yeah. Yeah. And I just admire her so much because I saw, I got to see her work ethic. Mm-hmm. I got to see what her family meant to her, mm-hmm. um, how, how important education and her schooling was. She was just so well-rounded, and I was, mm-hmm. I was so like admirable, you know? Mm-hmm. And I was like, wow. That's yeah. sweet. That's sweet. It's true, you know this. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get makeup on your way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is uh, really awesome. Great, great message for for our audience to hear. You know, just to, to the inside story yeah. that and the support because totally. it's not always the case. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, yeah. like you said, there's a lot of couples who are both in the industry, right. whether they're actively competing mm-hmm. or not, and they just. They battle, and it's just uh, constantly one-upping, or right. you're getting more attention, and then yes. feeling insecure. And I've never ever got that vibe from either mm-hmm. of you guys. The amount yeah. of support, whether it's speaking at a seminar, coaching mm-hmm. athletes, being mm-hmm. on stage, like you guys are such mm-hmm. a an amazing power couple together. Okay. And it's great for our industry too to to see you guys, yeah. your whole story, and that again, it wasn't this. Fast and Furious, where you did. You put a ring <laughs> right. on it two months right. later, right. and then six months into it, your whole relationship is dissolved. Yeah. Right. You know? yeah. And it wasn't, nothing was for show. Nothing, you guys no. have never been about just trying to put it out there and, yeah. and faking what something wasn't. Right. You know? Actually, yeah. the contrary, you know, when we first started we you know, dating and it was getting intense, I said, let's keep our personal life private. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Just yeah. keep it on the down low until we knew that it was solid and it was yes. for sure. For because, sure. Yeah. you know, you meet someone, you're excited. Mm-hmm. It's fun. It's exciting. You want to share it off and, you know, show it off to everyone. But then sometimes, like you said, when it just fizzles out, yeah. 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 you know. And we wanted to so. enjoy the authenticity of a real relationship mm-hmm. outside of being on social media. Yeah. Uh, so much of your life is on social media. Already. In the public yes. eye yes. and yes. open to everyone's opinions. Right. Mm-hmm. So I can only imagine. I mean, it is. So many yeah. people put their relationship out there. Oh, way too early and yeah. then they're devastated when people yeah. have mm-hmm. opinions about it exactly. it's like oh well yeah, yeah. be careful yeah. on that yeah. well you know what guys let's take a quick break <laughs> and we will come back to learn more of the authenticity of what you guys <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of your relationship we will be back
And we are back with Mr. and Ms. Olympia, Jennifer Dory, our current Miss Olympia Bikini Champion, and our first men's physique uh, Olympia Champion, Mark Anthony. Mark, you asked, we, we talked briefly about, you said, well, I thought this was like a, a show for just women. Right. And so you were surprised that we uh, invited you on the show. And I think what we were talking about earlier, just the fact that, uh, you know, your relationship, it just really stands out. And the um, authenticity of the relationship. And so just, I even noticed like with your Instagram, with your pages that like you're independent. Like you're not yeah. like playing off of each other. No. Or mm -hmm. It's no, you know, so talk about that. Well, you know, first I'm, I'm very grateful and honored to be here with you guys. And when Jennifer um, said that you guys extended the, the invite to me, I felt it was, you know, pretty special situation. So I know, I know it's her, her time and, um, but, us both being Olympia champions, I thought you know that's probably why it made sense. And you guys had shared with me other other male um, athletes have been on the show as well. So mm -hmm. um, I'm just happy to be here with you guys. I feel like I'm in the presence of greatness here, three <laughs> yeah. of, the, of the best women in the world. Uh -huh. You know, okay. so um, but you know our relationship um, is very supportive. Mm -hmm. You know, when when I like I said, you know I saw how hard she worked in, in school, at her job, and at her craft as well, and being very close to her family, um, I took it upon myself to say, here's someone that I love, and someone that I think is the best in the world. I knew she was gonna be the best in the world, so I was ready to take a step aside of what I was doing in my competitive career, because I, I had my time, and I, I'm, I'm happy with that, and I wanted to give her everything that I could when it came to my experience, time, and knowledge for her to succeed. And he did. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and <wow>. he did. <laughs> There's not many people who would do that no. in a variety of industries, honestly. That's right. Yeah. I have, to give, right. I have to give my father credit because that's the man he is and that's how he raised me, mm -hmm. you know, to you know, profess, profess my love, uh, to protect, and to provide, mm. you know? So uh, we have, uh, you know, we, we, we do everything together uh, when it comes to being social and like, mm -hmm. you know, we, we do have date nights and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Okay. You know, we, we do like to live a normal life, um, whatever is considered normal. Right. <laughs> so wait, so then, okay, so tell us what a typical date night is like for you guys mm -hmm. on like in season and off season, because yeah. obviously they're probably pretty different. But what's, what's this, <laughs> give us an example. So for, fortunately, we live in the best city in the world called Las Vegas, right? Mm -hmm. And <laughs> we have tons of options of things to do. Mm -hmm. We love to eat like most bodybuilders do. Um, we, we're, we're kind of bougie when it comes to what we like to eat. So. <laughs> Sorry, I dragged her into that whole thing, but I was not before him. Not so him. Yeah, we like to eat at nice restaurants. You know, mm -hmm. we like to eat good ribeyes and fillets and drink good wine and mm -hmm. have a nice dessert. But we earn it. It's a sure. it's a reward, yeah. um, and so we don't feel bad about it. You know, mm -hmm. we go for dinner at different places in the in the city on the strip. Um, we have a good group of friends that we that you know share the same kind of. Um, values and things that we do. Mm -hmm. You know, Jay and his fiance, we spend a lot of time with them. Mm -hmm. um, and we just have fun. So, but when it's time to flip the switch and get ready, <laughs> yeah. then, it's, then it's time, you know, so. I just we, get to watch him eat. Yeah. yeah. I, I okay. just feed him. I'm yeah. like, she feeds like, me. Like, what does this taste yeah. like? Just Always. describe it for me. Always. I'm like, babe, look what I got you. Go try this. And he's, like, I don't, <laughs> he's like, I don't want it. I'm like, no, just try this. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. He's like, okay, well, I will do it for you. <laughs> every week I would come home with, like, if you've ever tried crumble cookies. Oh, my oh. gosh. So good. Wow. The best. And yeah. now we have my cookie dealer. Even better. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Their stuff is amazing. amazing. Their stuff is incredible. So I'm always like, try this one. Try this one. <laughs> <laughs> She's been very good though on you know this off season we really like kept her weight and her look you know mm -hmm. where we wanted it to be okay uh, so it's efficient so when we start preparing it's not going to be yeah too much killing her okay very you know? good. very good um, yeah. so how is it different now like mm -hmm. you're the you're the reigning champion mm -hmm. and did you do a lot of competitions prior to like with the average you know like. Yeah. Bikini, sometimes you guys can do like five, six, run. seven that's, competitions in a year. So it's <laughs> like you're always <laughs> yeah. on. So is there something different, different pressure? Or? Totally different pressure, different ball game, I would say. But it's also kind of nice that when you're the champ, 
you only have to beat yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, my focus is not on anyone else. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not like I'm chasing, you know, someone else's tail. Like, last year going to Olympia, I was second, so I was trying to be better than second. Mm-hmm. Now it's, I mean, there's that kind of double-sided that the only place to go from first is either stay there or go down, but mm-hmm. it's also like I only have to beat my best self. Mm-hmm. Right. So that's nice in a way that I, I only have to focus on being mm-hmm. my absolute best versus mm-hmm. beating someone else. Um, but the nice thing is I don't have to qualify. I don't have to do a bunch of shows. Mm-hmm. Right. Because um, mm-hmm. it's tiring when you're, you know, you're competing yes. all the time and it's hard on your body. So it's great to have a full off season. And this year, mm-hmm. that's kind of what I've got to do. It's six months into off season now. I feel okay. great. You and look great. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I enjoy my off season. I like to live a normal life, whatever mm-hmm. normal might look mm-hmm. like. Um, I mean, obviously, still training all the time, still doing cardio, still meal prepping. I still packed all my meals for this weekend. Oh, um, yeah. But we, we like to eat out maybe once a week or so. I'm yeah. not a huge fan of eating out too much. Mm-hmm. He likes to eat out a lot. Yeah. He likes to eat. <laughs> yeah. I'm, 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 I'm I like, that. no, babe, we yeah. eat at home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but usually when we do eat out, it's it's like a steakhouse or something. Yeah. And we'll mm-hmm. have steak and wine and dessert. I'm a sweet tooth. So. She likes sweet Desserts mm-hmm. for me is, yeah. that's yeah. my vice. You're like, I'm going to order a sweet for appetizer. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> and then dessert. Hey. Dessert to it go. Where did you take it to go? Yeah, to go. Exactly. Smart. Smart. Yeah. Usually once a week we do date night dinners, usually yeah. on like a Saturday night or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then like home cooked date night dinners mm-hmm. throughout the week. Yeah. Well, well yeah. said. I love what you said about, I mean, we all know this because we've all won the Olympia. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Right? yeah. That's right. And it is, I think sometimes athletes, they get a little uh, confused and feel like they have to beat someone else. And it's mm-hmm. really just about you, right? Yes. Yes. And yeah. staying, I think that's when we start to to lose is when we start to compete yeah, and try totally. to be something mm-hmm. outside of ourselves. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, what uh, Jennifer and I live by is that if she gets a job done every day and mm-hmm. check all the boxes, mm-hmm. she won that day. Mm-hmm. And when you prepare every day like that all year, mm-hmm. she won every day. Mm-hmm. She's the winner already. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I've been fortunate to be beside her right before she walks on stage at every show. Mm-hmm. And... I always tell her, you, you're the winner. That's mm-hmm. it. You know, go up there, have fun, and you won. Mm-hmm. You know, and she's always like, you're biased. I'm like, I always tell her she won. <laughs> every because year I, since yeah. I met him, yeah. <laughs> since uh-huh. my very, actually my very first Olympia, yeah, yeah. every single Olympia um, we've been together for, yeah. and he's always like, you're the best, baby, you're going to win. And I'm like, you're just saying this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I will say, though, because I talked to you backstage yeah. moments before you hit the stage We got Olympia. to chat this year, yeah. And I was shocked because you had just come off the Arnold yeah. and you know there was all this talk and this pressure okay now can you win Olympia mm-hmm. and I've never met anyone yeah. those few moments before stage who was just so cool calm right. but I'm like mm-hmm. this is amazing yes. and you know what that's what it takes to be a gym yeah. you gotta walk on stage as if you've already won yeah. right. and everyone's just here to see you accept uh-huh. the, the big trophy uh-huh. you know yeah. but you had the confidence you had the class and mm-hmm. I mean, you just look like you were ready. You're like, is it is it time? Okay, time to line up. Let's go. And yeah. I remember telling people, I'm like, she's got it. Like this is this is hers. It's in the bag mm-hmm. because just your confidence mm-hmm. and maybe obviously it sounds like you have a lot to do with you know, <laughs> building that in. Yeah. But you have to have that when you, you hit the stage. Mm-hmm. You can't show that there's any doubt in your head. No. You're like, yeah, right. I, I've got this. Mm-hmm. And it was amazing to see. I just thought, this is this is her moment. Yeah. I remember we were like right outside the change room, yes. standing there talking. You were sitting on a table, just yeah. like nothing. Like, do do do. It yeah. was amazing. I'm like, wow. And but that's the way it should be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You mm-hmm. work so hard, mm-hmm. and to be on the biggest stage yeah. in our sport, if mm-hmm. you're not enjoying every single second, like, what are you doing? Yes. You gotta soak it all you in. Mm-hmm. And granted, yeah, there are some nerves. But if you can channel that in the in the best it's a way, positive, mm-hmm. yes, yes. Mm-hmm. that it, yeah. it works out. And you know, every year leading up, she was all, I, I I got to witness her becoming more confident, and not so much through what she's saying, but through how she was moving, yeah, you know, in her behavior and her yes. actions, mm-hmm. and that, she can't fake that. No, yeah. nope. And that kind of progress takes time. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. we've all been through it. Yes. Um, and she wasn't as nervous this year, and I knew this yeah. year 
that she was going to go on there and she was, it would be her best performance. I yeah, just I felt it. That's yeah. like when you were saying that you felt that for me, that was mm-hmm. the first time I've ever felt that way. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. So it's, it's funny that everyone else could feel it because mm-hmm. yeah. even at the Arnold, I wasn't you know, 100% sure and I didn't feel like I was at 100% of what I could be. So mm-hmm. I knew like I have two weeks until the Olympia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm just going to do everything I can to be at my absolute best. I have so much time to improve on mm-hmm. what I just brought. Mm-hmm. So I was just looking at it like I'm so excited to step on Olympia stage because mm-hmm. I knew that I had just won the Arnold with this package, yeah. and I know I'm like 20, 30 times better here. Yeah, There's awesome. no way that I'm not going to come in at my absolute mm-hmm. best. And my thing was just I was so at peace with who I was and where I was in that moment and how mm-hmm. I looked that it didn't matter if I won or if I came last place because I was happy. Mm-hmm. And that was so I think that's the, the difference between thing. everything right there, mm-hmm. what you just said. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Honestly, you're not worried about anyone else. No, no I wasn't. Nothing. Mm-hmm. I was just so excited to get on stage to show off my hard work and my yes. improvements. Yes. Mm-hmm. I was like, I can't wait till they see my improvements. Yeah. yeah. And that's how you have to look at it, because then you're you're excited. You're not like nervous. nervous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you're if you're ready, if you do the work every day, there's no need to be nervous when you're going on stage. Of course, mm-hmm. we all get that little bit of nerve sure. and adrenaline is good. But if you've done everything you need to, there's no reason to be nervous. Mm-hmm. You know, how it's that just feels. your time to mm-hmm. shine. Yeah. 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 No, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what makes you guys such a perfect package, too, mm-hmm. is that, you know, one of the first things I thought is, mm-hmm. is the fact that Mark, he, you, you've been on that stage and you mm-hmm. understand. And, and now, even more importantly, yeah. just the process and, and you recognizing and mm-hmm. seeing that peace and that confidence yeah. and now you knowing what it's like to defend the title. And now is your mm-hmm. opportunity yeah. to do mm-hmm. so. And it's. Gosh, we've had this conversation before, yeah, yes, right, Mark? Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, I was uh, defeated in my defense, um, but I was fine because yeah. mm-hmm. sports, psych- my psychology, I was prepared. Mm-hmm. I knew what I, I knew I did everything that I was supposed to do, mm-hmm. yeah. and I knew I was better. Yes. Mm-hmm. So that day, I didn't look at it as a loss. That's right. You know what Which I'm saying? Which is the best perspective. Now. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. for we all have this, you know, that experience to be on the Olympia stage and at the, at the highest level on that day mm-hmm. is something that a lot of people will never experience. That's right. right. So that alone is a blessing for me, mm-hmm. you know. Well, and truth be told, whether you play second, third, fourth, whether you're defending a title, whether you mm-hmm. drop, yeah. you know, again, I was the same position. Mm-hmm. I, you know, two years and then yep. didn't have my title, I mm-hmm. lost it. That's right. But I got so many people saying, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And it's like, wow, like if I'm really upset that I'm second, (laughs) third in the world, like Mm -hmm. there's something wrong with me. Like if you have no gratitude for that. Absolutely. Obviously we all want to be the champ, but that it can't, it doesn't always work out that way. And if you have gratitude Mm -hmm. for how hard you've worked and you're Mm -hmm. excited about it, then, you know, Mm -hmm. that's, that's the perfect way to go. And it teaches other people that. You just got to focus on yourself. Yep. Do yeah, the best you can. Absolutely. And then keep working. Yeah. Just be a good sport about it. Yeah. Yeah. Win or lose. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I Stay competed humble. in the Olympia 11 times. Mm-hmm. People forget that. I've won eight, which means I've placed second three times. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm just as proud of yeah. my second yeah. place. There you go. As the, as the mm-hmm. win, you know. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah. But they, they all play a role in in those wins too so same thing like when we start you know most people don't show up at the Olympia and win their first time Mm -hmm. like that was my fourth Olympia I I was 10th the first time then I was fifth then I was second then I was first Mm -hmm. so it's like you can't forget where you came from where you started that even you know being on that Olympia stage is such a privilege Mm -hmm. I remember like years back I would watch the live stream every every year when it was September like sit there with my laptop on the live stream watching these girls I remember watching like Courtney King win and I was just watching like, this is incredible. I could only dream of being up there. So just yeah. to soak it in that I'm on that stage, that's enough there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we will take a break and come back and then let's talk about your, your training and nutrition. And we'll be back. You diet down, train hard and supplement smart for months. When the time comes to step on stage, don't leave your tan to chance. Go with the pros. Pro Tan. Number one worldwide since 1987 and the official sponsor of the Olympia for the last 15 years. Don't step on stage without it. Pro Tan. All right, we're back. And now I want to know and get some information on your training, mm-hmm. Jennifer. Um, what's your What's your training program? Mm-hmm. What does it look like? 
so Mark does help me out with a lot of that. He he does assisting coaching me. We do it together, yeah. which is another thing that we get to do together, which is really nice, and just having his support there for me. Um, so it, it does vary based on you know where I'm at, what I'm looking to improve. Right now, I do usually each muscle group about twice a week. Mm-hmm. So I train five to six times a week in my off season. Should be five, but it's hard to stay out of the gym that yeah. extra day. Uh-huh. <laughs> you guys know how it is. It's just yes. it's so hard to stay away from the gym. Usually on Sundays, I try and take as a complete rest day so we can just have a family day. We go to church. We'll go for breakfast or something and just spend the day together. Aaron's life stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, throughout the week, I usually train five to six days. Glutes usually twice a week, shoulders twice a week, back twice a week, or sometimes I'll alternate and do a third glute day instead of a second back day. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where my training lies right now, just Mm -hmm. focusing on keeping the balance. So Mm -hmm. not trying to really grow or improve any specific muscle. Mm -hmm. Bikini is all about that balance, that symmetry, and that flow to your physique. Mm -hmm. And just always trying to perfect, you know, Mm -hmm. just making sure everything matches top to bottom, front to back, Mm -hmm. not having anything become too much or anything be too little. Mm -hmm. Which that's always interesting to hear from bikini athletes too because a lot of the feedback is don't change anything Mm -hmm. or you may need to bring down say your shoulders, your back, which means less days in the gym. Mm -hmm. And for so many bikini athletes, that's hard. Mm -hmm. It is. Because you're an athlete and you wanna you wanna work out and you have that desire. So being told, Oh, rein it in and don't do too much, Mm -hmm. have you ever had to go through that? (laughs) Um, yeah, so prior I wasn't training my back for a little while just because it was getting a little bit wider when I was an amateur competitor. I was told, you know, at the time we were doing slightly different posing mm-hmm. and they had told me, you know, unless you want to do figure, like calm down the back training, mm-hmm. <laughs> especially for the width, anything with too much lats taper because naturally I do have a broader back. Um, and then same thing with legs. I wasn't really training legs, just glutes. But we have added back in some leg training yeah. just for detail because I think sure. when you, you know, I wasn't training quads for maybe two or three years just trying not to get them any bigger mm-hmm. so it would be proportional. But I think that you miss out on a lot of details in your legs yeah. when you don't train. Mm-hmm. Getting so that athletic look. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like the deeper lines and cuts mm-hmm. From, mm-hmm. from still training. You know, sometimes even when she's in her presentation or she's transitioning from one pose to the other or even in her walk, I want to see certain details. Sure. Right? Not necessarily when she hits the pose. But when she's getting into it, yeah. right? So everything is complete. Right. Yeah. yeah. So we've incorporated a little bit more quad, quad training, training again. Yeah. Nothing heavy, mm-hmm. no, sure. you know, lo- overloading uh, with uh, with weight, but a lot of uh, eccentric and concentric, you know, slow movements, mm-hmm. just for like I said, more more shape and detail. Right. Lots of squeezing yeah. my muscle yeah. connection. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. What about posing? Because mm-hmm. obviously, like you said, the criteria changes. Um, mm-hmm. You know, over the years, it's changed. Yeah. But also, as your body changes, you know, as your glutes get a little fuller, yeah. as your legs change, mm-hmm. as your back, you mm-hmm. know, whether it's more width or less width, mm-hmm. how frequently are you practicing posing in the off season yeah. compared to in season? So in season, it's an everyday thing. It's like multiple times a day. Like when you wake up, you do your check-in, I run through my posing. Post-workout, I bring my heels to the gym. I go in the fitness room, I do my posing. Sometimes even at nighttime, I'll run through it too, like two, three times a day, 10, 15 minutes a session. Mm -hmm. Um, Right now, I would say a couple times a week, just making sure that I don't lose the mobility. Sure. Because it's hard with bikini. We're twisting so much with some of the poses that if you don't do it for a whole six, eight months, and you try and go back to those poses, it's not gonna twist the same way. Mm -hmm. And just, you don't ever want to lose that muscle memory of the posing, so just running through. Um, Yesterday I was in the hotel gym, actually, and I had my headphones in, and I was just running through a whole posing routine in between sets, just just practicing the posing and trying to perfect certain things (coughs) that I might wanna change in my routine. Um, Just to always bring a fresh routine that is current and up to date. So do you Mm. change it pretty frequently? I always try and change something a little yes. bit because I don't want to bring the same routine, right. especially with bikini. I mean, there's only so much that we can do with mm-hmm. the front and the back mm-hmm. pose, um, but just transitions or hair flips, totally. little little things adding in. So I was actually um, trying to figure out yesterday, like, what can I do different this year? I'll show you some things that I was looking at. <laughs> Ooh, she's got a new idea, guys. Oh, what are we going to see on this Olympia stage? I, I want to do something that's different this year. Um, this will be fresh. Yeah. This will be fresh yeah. and different. So I have a few things that I'm playing around with, and we'll see. It keeps it exciting for you, too. Because exactly. Because, again, if you're fun. practicing that much, and a mm-hmm. lot of athletes say this, you know, you just get in that... It becomes monotonous, yeah. it and it you're practicing, but are you really because you've got it down right. so yeah. much? Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So a lot of people do that, yeah. where it's a trick where they just change one slight thing that maybe others don't notice, yeah. but if it feels new or fresh to you, exactly. it gives you something new to focus yeah. on. Yeah. And then yeah. 
she puts it out with with uh, conviction. Yes, you, know you have thing? to. Yep. Yeah. If you're gonna if you're gonna do a hair flip, you can't. You, yes. you can't do it halfway. Right. Yeah. You got <laughs> no, no mediocre yeah. hair flips allowed. Not right. on that Olympia stage, at least. Yeah. 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 And Save just, that for the NPC when they're looking. So you have to practice to make sure that you have your footing, your balance, right? Because yeah. you don't want to be flipping mm-hmm. your hair in. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and then yeah. it's systematic. So even if she does make an error, no one will know. You know how to correct. You know. It. Yes. You know how to rebound right Keep away. Going. You know, mm-hmm. recover. So mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. valuable. Yeah. But hopefully, you guys are taking notes on that. <laughs> yeah. Because the coming from the current champ. Yeah. The fact that you. Heels, you wear your heels, you start that early. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, because I, I see women and I'm like, your heels are walking you. <laughs> yes. like, That's the thing. Yeah. 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 And competition heels are not the same as your everyday heels They're because not. of the platform and the way they fit. So mm-hmm. if you don't practice in them and then you put them back on, it's hard to, to try and retrain yourself again. Mm-hmm. You got to walk around the house in them, which I'm yeah. sure Mark wouldn't mind, you know, <laughs> just looking at his beautiful <laughs> wife in yeah. heels, doing dishes yeah. and cooking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy with that. It's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that, actually, that was one of my questions. Mm-hmm. So what's, what's your favorite body part on Jennifer? <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty biased. I'd have, have, have to say <laughs> all of them, but more... Exclusively her glutes. Okay. Yeah. How random. I would have never guessed. Yes. I mean, you've got yeah. the world champion right? in, in, in your house all the time. So, glutes. Really? Such yeah. a professional answer. Glutes. Yes. Yes. Answer. Yeah. I love yeah. it. What about yeah. for you, Jennifer? What's your favorite on Mark? Probably his chest. I feel like he has a really good chest. He has like a, a puffy chest, not a flat chest. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. His chest or his arms, just because I always like to grab on. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's probably great. his chest or his arms is my favorite. That's he has great legs, too, though. So you basically all of the above for both of you. I mean, it's hard to pick. It would yeah. be hard to pick. I think. Uh-huh. Perfect bodies. <laughs> yeah. So how do you guys handle all of the attention? I mean, you've got like both of you like sexy, like <laughs> you, you, right. So, Mark, how do you handle all of the attention uh, that she gets? So Jennifer gets a lot of attention. Um, of course, she's. An attractive woman, mm-hmm. you know, she's on the top of the world. Um, you know, it's it's going to happen, and as long as no one is inappropriate, mm-hmm. I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay. you know? And you know, she doesn't give off, you know, a yeah. vibe that is going to bring the wrong attention. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, if, if, you, if you if you look at her social media, it's, very it's, it's it's very it's very yeah very classy, very clean, mm-hmm. um, and it's very uh, encouraging to other women. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's what's important to Jennifer. Um, if you look at the comments, it's all females. It's mainly females, yeah. yeah. I mean, wow. I'm big on, you know, like, I want to reach a female audience. I yeah. want to inspire females who are coming up in the division and, you know, mm. my peers who are around me. And I know as a female, like, certain content that you put out. As a female, if I'm scrolling Instagram, I don't want to see certain things, you know. And it's mm-hmm. just, it might capture a male's gaze, but for a female's gaze, it might not be the most inspiring thing. So I mm-hmm. think when I'm putting stuff out there, I have family who follows me. I have young people who follow mm-hmm. me. And... I always want to set a, a good example for them, you know, of like, sure. you don't have to be wearing too little to, to get your attention. Like, there's a way to do it in a classy, respectful way. And I think mm-hmm. that's always the image that I try and portray online. So I think when you put out that image, you get that same response back. So mm-hmm. to get certain l- attention, you have to look at what are you putting out there and what, what image are you representing? And mm-hmm. I would say people are pretty appropriate. I mean, I think a lot of people like us as a couple anyway, so they're yeah. pretty respectful of us yeah. as a couple. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. most guys know that he's crazy. and <laughs> <I> guess, <laughs> Don't piss him off. <laughs> it's funny because he was saying, like, even a lot of girls, you know, like people that, you know, he might have had something with prior in the, in the industry before me, and they just love me. They're so it, it's, it's funny. That's awesome. Good. Yeah. I'm not, like, I don't have bad blood with anyone, so yeah. I think that it's hard for people to, like, find a reason like to not like it so yeah yeah mm. we don't really have too many issues with that you know what, what what's very important to us and is that not only being a champion on stage but being a champion off the stage mm-hmm. i know people talk about this often but you know really exercising that and mm-hmm. showing and proving that mm-hmm. you know you'll remember my character that's what's important to me yeah. more than my olympia title yes mm-hmm. you know it's a few moments on stage yeah, yeah. Yes. so mm-hmm. if people you know, have a, a have a memorable moment with us. Mm-hmm. That's more important to us mm-hmm. than them knowing us as a champion. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, you know, guys, I just we want to thank you so much for uh, giving the audience this opportunity to see you and to see a couple and to see how supportive <laughs> Mark is of, of Jennifer. And um, 
really amazing. I, I feel your energy. I see how you guys are aligned. And power just, couple. Power, <laughs> power, power, couple. power you. couple. Thank you guys. Power couple. Thank you guys. Yes. Thank you so much. Excellent representative. Thank you. And guys, that's a wrap for <laughs> FemFlex Friday. Our Mr. and Ms. Olympia champions, Jennifer Dory and Mark Anthony.